let's look at one more example involving some cases here. And again, this is going to be another without loss of generality situation. So maybe pause the video now and try this yourself. I do want to point out that this might be a case where you want to use the contrapositive for one direction, since this expression here looks like it's quite complicated. So pause the video now and try that. And remember that or mathematically means one or the other or both. So it could be both in this A or B is odd. Okay, now that we're back, let's go ahead again. This is our P, this is our Q, and we see this phrase exactly when. This is a if and only if phrase. So let's go ahead. Let's prove the first direction. Let's do P implies Q here. And again, assuming this expression is odd and showing that at least one of these guys is odd, might be hard to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove the contrapositive of this. So I'm going to prove, let's look at it directly in some sense, not Q implies not P. So that's what I'm going to do. This is by contrapositive. And what does that mean here? So we need the negation of Q. So if Q is A is odd or B is odd, then the negation of Q is going to be the negation of, yeah, we need the negation of Q, so it's the negation of A is odd or B is odd. And using the Morgan's law, that is um, equivalent to, well, A is not odd, so A is even, and same thing here, B is even. Remember, the Morgan's law says we negate both of the expressions here, and we flip the quantifier from an or to an and or vice versa. So we have, it's not the case that A is odd or B is odd. Well, that must mean that both A is even and B is even. That's De Morgan's law there. So that's what we're going to assume. So assume A and B are even. So as usual, A is 2K, B is 2L for k and l that are integers. OK. And we want to show that this guy is not odd. Remember, we're assuming that q is false. We want to show that p is false. So we want to show that a squared plus ab plus b squared is even. So to show, I'll write that this time. We want to show that a squared plus ab plus b squared is indeed even. It's not odd. Okay, so let's consider it. a squared plus ab plus b squared. So let's go ahead and fill in what we have. So A is 2K. So this is 2K squared plus 2K times 2L since B equals L plus 2L all squared. And just by looking at this, you can see that each of these three terms has a factor of 2. So we're looking good. Okay. So this is I'll do it in two lines, 4k squared plus 
4kl plus 4l squared, which is indeed 2 times 2k squared plus 2kl plus 2l squared. Awesome. And then we can write thus, or since, um, this expression 2k squared plus 2kl plus 2l squared, since that is indeed an integer, we have that a squared plus ab plus b squared is even. So we're finished the first direction. We finished p implies q. We just proved the contrapositive. Now we need to do the other direction, q implies p. So let me just write that down. And then I'm going to start a new slide, and we can do it with a little more room. So we need q implies p. So a is odd, or b is odd, implies that a squared plus ab plus b squared is odd. So that's what we want to show. q implies p. So I'm going to move to a new slide, and we'll do that. So this is the second direction of our if and only if proof of our biconditional. Well, here we have the kind of the same situation from a previous example where we have a situation where A is odd or B is odd. Or, of course, both are odd. So we have to break this up into two cases here. So the cases are one of them is odd. We can just do that by saying without loss of generality. It doesn't matter if it's A or B, because if you think about it, in the expression we're trying to show um, is odd, well, it's symmetric in A and B. If I swap where the A's and the B's are in this, I get the same expression, so nothing changes. So I don't want to do the argument twice for no reason. So let's do our Q implies P proof. That's this. This was our Q from the previous slide. This was our P from the previous slide. So we're going to prove this directly, and we're going to do it by cases. So case one is one, or let's write the word one. That looks a little better. One of A and B is odd. And the second case will be both are odd. So in this case, well, again, just like I said, it doesn't matter which one is odd. So without loss of generality, some mathematicians write this without loss of generality, or some people write it out. Either way is fine without loss of generality. Let A be odd and b, b even. Okay, so that means a is odd, so it's 2k plus 1, and b is even, so b is 2 times l, and again, this is for some integers, oh, not a, it's k and l, so some integers k and l, Great. So now we have that set up. Let's consider this expression here. A squared plus AB plus B squared. This is what we have to work with. A equals 2K plus 1. And B equals 2L. And we want to show we can write this as an odd number. So let's just fill things in and do the algebra. So we get 2k plus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 times 2l plus 2l squared. Let's simplify this. So we get 
4k squared plus 4k plus 1. That's just multiplying 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 using, say, foil or something like that. So, if you want to check that, pause the video now and just make sure you can multiply 2k plus 1 by itself to get 4k squared plus 4k plus 1. And here, I'm going to be a little bit clever in some sense. There's nothing wrong with simplifying this and this, multiplying everything out, and um, then realizing it's an odd number. But I'm thinking, all right, I just multiplied this out. I have something with a factor of 2, something with a factor of 2, plus 1. If every other term here has a factor of 2, I'm good to go. And if I look here, I have 2 times L times this bracket. So this term has a factor of 2. I can take that out. And this is 2 times L times 2 times L. This has a factor of 2. So rather than simplifying this and gathering like terms, I'm just going to write it like this for, for later, I guess, when I factor everything out. I'm going to write it as 2 times L times 2K plus 1, since I have this 2 here. And I'm going to write this as 2 times 2L squared. Because remember, I want to have a bunch of terms where I can factor out a 2, and then my plus 1 at the end to show it's odd. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to take out this 2. And so out of the first term, I'm left with 2k squared. Out of the second term, I'm left with 2k. This plus 1, I'm going to put at the end. This is my 2 times integer plus 1. So that's going to go way at the end here. I'll put it here. I might erase it if I need more room. But that plus 1, that's my odd plus 1. Then I'm going to take my 2 out of this term. There it is there. So I'm left with plus L times 2K plus 1. That's okay. This is still an integer that had a factor of 2 multiplied by it. That's fine if it's not simplified. It's fine if it is 2. It doesn't matter. And here I have 2L squared and then my plus 1. So it's a little bit more complicated, but I do have... All of this together is indeed some integer. So I can say, let me name this in fact. I'm going to call this star. So since star is an integer, just so I don't have to write it again, I know that a squared plus ab plus b squared is odd. So that's the first case where one of a and b is odd. Let's do the case where they're both odd now. So, case two is that a and b are both odd. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that I can write a, let's say a and b, are odd. So I can write that A is 2 times K plus 1. B is 2 times L plus 1. And I need to show that this A squared plus AB plus B squared is odd. So let's consider it. And now, in some sense, it's just a bunch of algebra to make this work. So I'm going to pause the video now. I'll let you guys try it. So try it. See if you can get it in the form of 2 times some integer plus 1 to show it's odd. And then you'll be good to go. I'll come back, though, and it will just appear. I'm just going to have it appear as one big thing so you can check your work. Okay, 
So again, this is just a bunch of algebra, but hopefully you got it in some form that looks like two times a bunch of integers multiplied and added together. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as there are a bunch of integers multiplied and added together, you have an integer. So two times integer plus one. So finally we write, since this expression star is indeed an integer, we know that we can write a squared plus ab plus b squared as an odd number. So it is odd, and we're finished our proof. We've done absolutely everything. We did the first direction on the first on the previous slide. The second direction we did on this slide, the second direction we had to break up into two cases where one of a and b was odd and the second one where both a and b are odd. But now we know that this result is true. We know that this expression a squared plus ab plus b squared is odd exactly when, if and only if, a or b is odd. At least one of a or b is odd. And that's our result.